Welcome to Easy Learning. A simple way to understand the graphical method for solving linear equations. Contents of this video. 1. Solving linear equations in two variables by graphing equations on the coordinate plane using values of x, y. 2. Graphing linear equations with either a equals 0 or b equals 0. 3. Graphing any linear equation directly on the coordinate plane using jump and move method. That is, without using tabular data. Let us first recall some basics. 2x, root 5y minus 3, 8x plus 7y, 3xy plus 2, x plus y plus z, x cubed plus 1, cube root of y plus 1, x power negative 2 minus y. Our algebraic expressions. An algebraic expression having all the powers of the variables as whole numbers is known as polynomial. 2x, root 5y minus 3, 8x plus 7y, x plus y plus z. We are linear expressions since the highest power of the variable is 1, x plus 7 equals 0, 5y minus 2 equals 12, 7 plus 3z equals 19, 2y plus 7 by 2 equals 39 by 2, roots 2y plus root 3 equals 0. O are linear equations in one variable since the expressions which form the linear equation contain only one variable. These equations have a unique, that is, one and only one, solution which we can represent on a number line. Let us now consider an example. Total score of a student in mathematics and science is 186 marks. Let us express this information in the form of an equation. Here, the score of neither of the subject is known. That is, there are two unknown quantities. Let us use x to denote score of mathematics and y to denote score of science. We get x plus y equals 186, which is an example of a linear equation in two variables. As there are two variables in the equation, a solution means a pair of values, one for x and one for y which satisfy the given equation. That is, LHS equals RHS. This solution is written as an ordered pair, x, y, first writing the value for x and then the value for y. 186, 91, 95, 150, 36, etc. are the solutions of the equation x plus y equals 186. That is, a linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solutions. Some other examples of linear equations in two variables are p minus 2q equals 7, 3 plus pi u equals 21v, root 2s plus 5t equals 2, m minus 1.8n equals 12. 7x equals 14 which can be written as 7x plus 0y minus 14 equals 0. 5v equals 0 which can be written as 0u plus 5v plus 0 equals 0 are also linear equations in two variables. So, any equation which can be put in the form of x plus b y plus c equals 0, where a, b and c are real numbers, and a and b are not both 0, is called a linear equation in two variables. O x plus b y plus c equals 0 is the general form of a linear equation in two variables. Here's the cheat sheet. An equation that is linear does not contain the following, 1. Variables in the denominator. 2. Variables with degree greater than 1. 3. Product of variables. A set of two or more equations, each containing two or more variables whose values can simultaneously satisfy all the equations in the set, the number of variables being equal to or less than the number of equations in the set is said to form a system of simultaneous equations. Here, we have two variables so we require at least two equations to form the system of simultaneous equations. System of simultaneous equations. Let us consider an example, x plus y equals 8 and x minus y equals 2. The solutions of equation x plus y equals 8 are 2 comma 6, 12, negative 4, 7 comma 1, negative 2 comma 10, 0 comma 8, 5 comma 3, negative 3 comma 11, 32, negative 24, negative 43, 51, etc. The solutions of equation x minus y equals 2 are 7 comma 5, 1, negative 1, 0, negative 2, 10 comma 8, 5 comma 3, negative 3, negative 5, negative 1, negative 3, 22 comma 20, negative 53, negative 55, etc. The solution 5 3 is common to both the equations. This ordered pair 5 3 is the solution of a given system of simultaneous equations. 
we can obtain the solution of a given system of simultaneous equations algebraically and also by geometric representation. Here, we will learn the graphical method that is, geometric representation. That is, to represent them in the coordinate plane. Note. A degree 1 polynomial equation to x plus by plus c equals 0 is called a linear equation, because its geometrical representation is a straight line. So let us learn to draw a graph of a linear equation of the form x plus by plus c equals 0. We follow these simple steps. Step 1. Expressing y in terms of x. That is, x plus y equals 8 is written as y equals 8 minus x. Note. For some equations, expressing x in terms of y becomes much easier. Example, x plus 3y equals 25 is written as x equals 25 minus 3y, which would have been y equals 25 minus x divided by 3 if y is expressed in terms of x. For drawing a line, two points are sufficient but if one point goes wrong we will end up with a wrong line. To avoid this we use three points. With four points one can even identify the wrongly plotted point. Step 2. We select a value of x, and the corresponding value of y is calculated using the equation obtained in step 1. Value of x is selected in such a way that the value of y obtained is also an integer and not a fraction. We repeat it for two more values of x. Note, if we have expressed x in terms of y in step 1, then the value of y is selected and the corresponding value of x is calculated. Step 3. These values of x and y along with ordered pair x, y are tabulated. Step 4. The points obtained in step 3 that is, x, y, are plotted on a graph paper. Step 5. These points are joined to obtain a straight line. This line is the required graph of the given equation. The equation of the line, in given form, is written near the line. The same steps are followed for the second equation. The point where the two lines intersect is the solution of the given system of simultaneous equations. The lines obtained can be intersecting, coincident or parallel. Let us see the algebraic interpretation of all the three graphical representation. Graphical representation. Algebraic interpretation. Intersecting lines. Exactly one solution, unique. Coincident lines. Infinitely many solutions. Parallel lines. No solution. Graphical method. Example 1. x plus y equals 8 and x minus y equals 2. The first equation is, x plus y equals 8 expressing y in terms of x, therefore y equals 8 minus x, the second equation is x minus y equals 2, expressing y in terms of x, therefore x minus 2 equals y, that is, y equals x minus 2. When x equals 0, y equals 8 minus 0, therefore y equals 8. When x equals 2, y equals 8 minus 2, therefore y equals 6. When x equals negative 1, y equals 8 minus of negative 1. Therefore y equals 8 plus 1 implies y equals 9. When x equals 0, y equals 0 minus 2. Therefore y equals negative 2. When x equals 3, y equals 3 minus 2. Therefore y equals 1. When x equals negative 3, y equals negative 3 minus 2. Therefore y equals negative 5. In the previous uploaded video, a simple way to understand the basics of graph. We have learned how to plot the points on a graph paper. Refer my YouTube channel, Easy Learning. We can now easily plot the points on the graph paper. Let us plot the points of the first equation from the obtained table. Now a line is drawn through these points. The equation of the line, in the given form, is written near to the line. Similarly we can draw on the line for the second equation. Every point on each line satisfies the respective equation. A point which is common to both the lines will satisfy both the equations. That is, the point of intersection of the two lines satisfy both the equations. Hence the point of intersection that is, 5 comma 3, is the solution of the given system of simultaneous equations.
Therefore, 5, 3 is the solution of the given simultaneous equations. Example 2. 3x minus 2y plus 4 equals 0 and y minus x plus 1 equals 0. The first equation is 3x minus 2y plus 4 equals 0. Expressing y in terms of x. Therefore 3x plus 4 equals 2y. Dividing throughout by 2 we get 3x upon 2 plus 4 upon 2 equals 2y upon 2. Therefore 3x upon 2 plus 2 equals y. That is, y equals 3x upon 2 plus 2. The second equation is y minus x plus 1 equals 0. Expressing y in terms of x. Therefore y equals x minus 1. Note, x term has 2 in the denominator, so we will take x as multiples of 2 which will give y as a whole number. When x equals 0, y equals 3 multiplied by 0 divided by 2 plus 2. Therefore y equals 0 by 2 plus 2. Therefore y equals 0 plus 2. Therefore y equals 2. When x equals 2, y equals 3 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 plus 2. Therefore y equals 3 multiplied by 1 plus 2. Therefore y equals 3 plus 2. Therefore y equals 5. When x equals negative 2, y equals 3 multiplied by negative 2 divided by 2 plus 2. Therefore y equals 3 multiplied by negative 1 plus 2. Therefore y equals negative 3 plus 2. Therefore y equals negative 1. When x equals 3, y equals 3 minus 1. Therefore y equals 2. When x equals 6, y equals 6 minus 1. Therefore y equals 5. When x equals negative 4, y equals negative 4 minus 1. Therefore y equals negative 5. Let us plot the points of the first equation from the obtained table. Now a line is drawn through these points. The equation of the line, in the given form, is written near to the line. Now we can draw on the line for the second equation. Here the point of intersection is, negative 6, negative 7. Therefore, negative 6, negative 7, is the solution of the given simultaneous equations. Now, let us learn to graph linear equations with either a equals 0 or b equals 0. For this type of equations, always simplify it to the form x equals constant or y equals constant depending upon the type of equation. Example 1. 2x minus 5 equals 0. Therefore 2x equals 5. Therefore x equals 5 by 2. Therefore x equals 2.5. For any value of y, the value of x is constant. That is, 2.5. Therefore 2.5, 0, 2.5, 4, 2.5, negative 3, etc. are the points on the line x equals 2.5. Therefore the graph of this equation passes through 2.5 on x-axis and is parallel to y-axis. That is, any line having the equation in the form x equals constant is parallel to y-axis. Note, equation of y-axis is x equals 0. Example 2. y equals negative 3. For any value of x, the value of y is constant. That is, negative 3. Therefore, 0, negative 3, 5, negative 3, negative 4, negative 3, etc. are the points on the line y equals negative 3. Therefore, the graph of this equation passes through negative 3 on y-axis and is parallel to x-axis. That is, any line having the equation in the form y equals constant is parallel to x-axis. Note, equation of x-axis is y equals 0. Now, the graphing of any linear equation directly on the coordinate plane using jump and move method. That is, without using tabular data. First the given equation is written in the form y equals mx plus c. That is, slope intercept form. Here, c is the y-intercept of the line. That is, where the line intersects the y-axis, and m is the slope of the line. The point C, on the y-axis, gives the first point to start the line, then we proceed as per the value of m. 
the numerator of m gives the number of steps to jump, m is positive, jump up or m is negative, jump down, and the denominator of m gives the number of steps to move. Here is the second point of the line. From this point, once again, jump and move, gives the next point and so on. These points are joined to obtain the required line. Let us draw one of the line from our previous examples. The equation 3x minus 2y plus 4 equals 0 was written as y equals 3x upon 2 plus 2, which is in the form y equals mx plus c. Here, c is plus 2 and m is plus 3 by 2 with plus 3 as numerator and 2 as denominator. Hence, our starting point is plus 2 on y axis, plus 3 steps to jump, plus, jump up, and 2 steps to move. The first point of our required line. The second point of our required line. Similarly, the next point is obtained by jump and move. The third point of our required line. A line is drawn through these points. Let us draw one more line from our previous examples. The equation x plus y equals 8 can be written as y equals negative x plus 8, which is in the form y equals mx plus c. Here, c is 8 and m is negative 1 with negative 1 as numerator and 1 as denominator. Hence, our starting point is 8 on y axis, negative 1 step to jump, negative, jump down, and 1 step to move. The first point of our required line. The second point of our required line. Similarly, the next point is obtained by jump and move. The third point of our required line. A line is drawn through these points. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos on physics, chemistry and mathematics. Check my YouTube channel, Easy Learning. Suggestions can be mailed at ag.easylearning at gmail.com.